Hi, welcome to Sweating with the Buffs, the show where both the wings and the questions are sure to make you sweat. I'm your host, Elisa Ross Fishbein. So the concept is basically we're gonna eat four different wings, progressively spicier sauces. So this first one here is pretty mild, and then it gets all the way up to one of the hot, one of the hottest sauces you can actually buy with the Carolina Reaper, which is over 300 times spicier than a jalapeno pepper. So it's pretty spicy. Let's see how the contestants take it. I'm here with Lalo Herrera. He is a sixth year on the CU track and cross country team. Lalo is a two-time All-American. He has a school record in the 1500 and he was a Pac-12 champion last season. So very accomplished. Lalo, how are you feeling about this hot sauce challenge? Oh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, this is gonna be easy. Maybe until we get to this one, we'll find out, but I'm feeling very confident with it. Me too. Yeah, piece of cake. All right, well, let's start with this mildest one, the mildest one. Right. Pour a little on your plate. Can you say a little now? Word, word. Okay, <laughs> me too. Go for it. All right, all right. Because we're not messing around here, you know? Nah, you're, this, you're right. This is the first stage. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. It's good. That's sweet sauce. It's not even spicy. I love it. Might as well take a shot of it. Look the plate. Okay, Lalo, my first question for you. I know you actually didn't fully start running until a little, a little later on in high school. You initially did soccer. So what made you switch from soccer to distance running? And was it hard to give up soccer? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, soccer was my favorite sport. Um, I played it when I was growing up. So um, I think for me, it was just my brother. Uh, he's the one that actually got me out here to start doing the sport of running. Okay. Uh, my freshman year, because he told me that there was a better opportunities uh, within the sport of running uh, rather than soccer, because like it's just very difficult to to move on from soccer because the resources weren't there. Um, and so, I guess I just stuck with it because I was good at it. But I did miss soccer. I played for two years in high school, and um, you know, I, I don't regret it. Um, because I, I'm here, I'm here now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I, you know, took my brother's advice and stuck with running. And uh, yeah, so it's going well. Cool. All right, finish that wing. Uh, let's move on to the next one. This sauce. Get some napkins up. We we will get some napkins. I've got the greasy fingers. Yeah. So this next sauce, pretty mild. Well, all right, all right, we'll go for it. We're talking about porn. This one has habanero, some tamarind, some cayenne, and mango. So this one's pretty good. Yeah. All right. This one's sweet. Yeah. It's actually okay. sweet. It's good. It's mm -hmm. good. So Lalo, being a sixth year, you've obviously competed in a lot of races. Also, I see the eyes are watering. I know you're trying to hide it, but I can see it. A little bit. I'm just a little itchy on my mouth. Okay, okay. We're good. Yeah, so you've done a ton of races. What's been the most the most memorable race that you've done so far? Um, I think for me, uh, it was probably last season when I uh, won Pac-12. Yeah. Um, just, just knowing that the history here is pretty deep um, here at CU for cross country, and um, to be able to, to be able to come out as a Pac-12 champion just kind of means a lot to me. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think I think that race kind of just it's, I'm always gonna remember that. But um, I've had I've had also had some really good races uh, last year for track. We went to Fresno, which is my hometown, and uh, that's where I ran the school record. In yeah. 15. Um, it was it was like lights out, so it was it was just kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, it was it was nice to be able to do it in front of like my home crowd and just kind of just enjoy the moment, you know. But yeah, it was, it was it was good. Definitely lots of memorable races for me. Yeah, that Fresno State race was so fun to watch. Oh yeah, it was, it was I, crazy. It was kind of chaotic. I mean, sense. the stadium lights literally went out. Like people were holding their phones as lights on the track. It's like this isn't quite adequate, but yeah. you know, obviously it didn't affect you. So no, no, it was it was it was great. It was just, yeah. I mean, I, I think a lot of runners know that like just running at nighttime, it's a lot better. Just the the race atmosphere is a lot yeah. a lot better, you know. But yeah, it was, it was great. All right, let's advance. Now it's getting serious. This uh, this one's this one's pretty spicy. Let's let's drown it though. It's also it. thick, which is always uh, that's when you know it's bad. All right. You guys can't see that? It's pretty red, so I mean, I'm based off of experience, I think it's pretty spicy, but we're about to find out. 
whatever. Damn. Just two dots? That's crazy. Are you kidding? I put so much on. I'll go for another bite. <laughs> I'll give you a second to compose yourself, but I will ask the next question. You go, it's okay. Oh, he's finishing it. Okay, so this summer you got to compete. Oh God, it's hitting me. We're chilling. This summer you got to compete in the 5K at the US Olympic trials. First time racing in the Olympic trials. You were in CU uniform. How did it feel to run at the highest stage in the US against best 5K runners in the country while wearing your CU uniform as well? It was, a, it was a definitely an incredible experience for me. Um, one thing I always think about too is <laughs> I always myself why I wasn't very nervous. Yeah. Um, just because that's probably one of the biggest stages uh, of running, I mean, besides the Olympics. Right. Uh, and just kind of leading into the into the race, I was just very, very calm. I felt like it wasn't really, I wasn't really like, it wasn't a pressure for me to be able to go out there and, and, do, and do what I do, you know? It was kind of more of, oh crap. It was kind of more of like, uh, just go out there and have fun and just see what I can do. And um, just overall, a great experience that I took away from it. I think definitely just learning, learning moving forward. It's, just, it's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, this is, okay, eight out of 10 for this song. I'm gonna do that. Because God damn, I'm spicing up. But it's all right though. <laughs> you make it. Yeah, no, that, like you said, probably that, the biggest, stage you've competed on the NCA is so competitive but I mean you're running against Olympians and it was really cool to watch you made it through multiple rounds so right. only gonna get up go up from there yeah. let's knock this let's knock this last one out Lalo oh. now this last hot sauce is even hotter than the previous one it has a Carolina Reaper which one is one of the world's spiciest peppers it can be over 300 times hotter than jalapeno so Did you say 300 over 300 sometimes, so. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta pour more, we're gonna go. Okay, game. okay. Hopefully this is a, a weak a weak batch. You can put a little uh, more on mine too. Yeah, we're <laughs> doing a lot. <laughs> <sighs> oh gosh. Okay, ready? All right. Okay, one, two, sauce? three. Let's do it. All right, cheers. Okay. I for sure 10 out of 10. Oh, damn. Woo. Lalo, <clears throat> excuse me, my last question for you. You, going into most of your races, you're definitely one of the top competitors seated up there. <laughs> How do you deal with the pressure going into the race, maintaining your composure, and still being able to execute your race plan? Repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you deal with the pressure going into races knowing you are one of the top competitors and kind of having the expectation that you should be finishing near the front or at the very front? Well, I'm just uh, very confident with uh, my training. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I, I feel like I'm kind of experienced, like I said, races like the Olympic trials just kind of help me out and uh, kind of help me become a better runner and uh, just kind of Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, honestly, I just, yeah, just, I'm very confident with my training and I, and I basically every race I go in there and want to have fun and compete against the best. So uh, as long as I'm doing that, I know that I'll be, I'll be well. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> thank you so much for doing this with me, Lolo. This is Sweating with the Buffs. We are both sweating and crying. Anytime so. you notice we didn't take a sip out of the milk. I took a few, but. Um, it was a good time. Good Thanks, Lalo. Yeah, anytime.